If you don't have an internship, your 100% focus should be on making a good project. Before I tell you what is a good project, For all of us preparing for a product company like Amazon, Adobe, Facebook, Google, we all pretty much know the importance of data structures and algorithms. And we also know that there are some more things that all product companies look for, like internships, projects, and good communication skills. But this part, the internships part, many students struggle with getting the right internships. To impress product companies, your internship must have a good technology stack, a reputed company, and proper output. Basically, some application that you've built which you can actually show as proof of the internship. But what if you don't get an internship? You may be a good student, you've done your preparation, but due to lack of, let's say, access to companies or you know too much competition, you may have missed out on an internship. Don't worry. I have seen firsthand at Edist many students cracking 20 to 40 lakhs per annum jobs and without having any internship in their second or third year. If you don't have an internship, your 100% focus should be on making a good project. Before I tell you what is a good project, let me tell you what is not a good project. Number one, if you finish the project in two days, it's too simple for a product company and won't be considered as good. If you pay someone else to do this project, it's definitely not a good project, be it for product or for services companies. Please avoid that. All right, so let's come to a good project. A good project for a product company is one in which number one, you spend anywhere between three to six weeks actually developing the project. Because remember, if you want to survive in a product company's interview for let's say more than 30 minutes or 40 minutes, your project needs to be detailed. You can't just have a project that you finished in two days or three days and expect that the interview is going to last that long. It will not last very long if it's a very small project. So make sure you spend like anywhere between three to six weeks developing the project. Number two, it is not a single use case application, but has to have more features. What do I mean by this? In a good project, it can't just be like, let's say, you know, there's a popular project called a weather application, right? Which uh, is used to track and predict weather. This is quite simple. But if you make a weather app, which requires, let's say, sign in and possibly choosing and, you know, saving some favorite locations, and then you get notifications about the weather at different times. Now that is a much more interesting project. It's not a single use case project, but it has multiple use cases and you would be required to take multiple design decisions and multiple features in that. In a good project also, you spend more time designing the overall architecture. That is, how will the front end talk to the back end? How will the back end store the data in the database? Where are you going to deploy this? This all must be done before coding it. So if you have a good project, spend a lot of time on this part rather than just, you know, beginning to code it directly. Another thing that good projects have is that you must have a live link for your project, meaning that you must deploy it somewhere on the internet so that companies and recruiters can actually check it out. If you don't deploy it, if you say that I have done so and so, it's a little bit difficult to actually believe you. Also, oftentimes the recruiter or the uh, you know hiring manager would want to see the project beforehand that is before the interview so if you actually deployed it this makes it possible for them to do that also if you're choosing the topic of the project try to make sure that you choose the project on a new technology and preferably a mix of technologies for example you could do you know web application using react.js node.js these are somewhat mature technologies now but if you also add some ai to it like you know you're doing a a web application that can predict data so you're or predict the weather right so now you're working a little bit on the ai front now you're still creating a web application but you're also using a little bit of ai in it that is much more uh, palatable and you know will actually help you out more in these project you know, or these product based interviews or let's say you create a mobile app which has some data science component or maybe some web app interfacing with a blockchain let's say you're interfacing with ethereum or with bitcoin it just makes a lot more sense uh, to include that as a mixture rather than doing a standalone web application or a standalone blockchain application. And finally, don't forget to make it look good. Take out an additional two, three days at the end of the project and spend some time making the UI look really good, making, you know, putting some good colors over there. If you're not sure uh, how to make it look good and you know how to actually make it look appealing, you can go on to websites like Dribble where you'll see a 
good number of mockups made by designers you can borrow some of those designs and actually use that as inspiration to make your application look quite good so these were some important considerations for making projects uh, to actually crack product companies in an upcoming video i'll share with you exactly how you can include the project on your resume and how these will help you get shortlisted in uh, the on campus and off campus rounds we hope you've enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button if you did and let us know in the comments what other topics you'd like to know about